Hello students and welcome to my channel Math Sub. So today in this video, we will talk about the Lagrange's method of undetermined multiplication. Right? So let's first of all understand what this method is all about. So in this method, it is a method to find the local minima and maxima of a function with two variables subjected to some constraints or some conditions on the variables involved. So suppose that the constraint is g of xy equal to 0. The function z is equal to f of xy has a local maxima or a local minima at the point whatever is given to us, right? So form the function as capital F is equal to small f plus lambda times g. So the function that needs to be maximized or minimized, that is taken as the function f. And the constraint that is given to us on the variables that will be taken as the function g. So we will develop the capital function f as small f plus lambda times g. And then how to proceed further? We will find out the value of lambda by solving a system of equations. By taking the derivative, we will calculate partial derivative of f with respect to x. That is marked as equation number one. We will calculate the partial derivative of f with respect to y, which is marked as equation number 2. We will equate them equal to 0. And we will solve these equations to find out the values of lambda along with the given constraint. Right? So, once we find out the values of lambda, then what are the working rules? The function which is to be maximized or minimized, take it as f. And the constraint is taken as the function g. Then construct the function f is equal to f plus lambda times g. Set up these equations delta f by delta x, put it equal to 0. Set up delta f by delta y, put it equal to 0. And set up delta f by delta lambda, put it equal to 0. And solve the system of equations. And from there, we will find out the values of x, y. Right? So let us see. And then uh, step 5 says that you can test the solution for maximum or minimum point by checking the standard results. That is f of xx, f of yy minus f of xy whole square. And if d is greater than or equal to 0 and f of xx is less than 0, then we know that it is a maximum point. If d is greater than 0 and f of xx is greater than 0, then it is a minimum. Right? If d is less than 0, then the test is inconclusive. And then we can evaluate z for each solution x naught y naught lambda that has been found in step number one. Right? So let us try to do this example. Find the point upon the plane ax plus by plus cz equal to p at which the function f equal to x square plus y square plus z square has a minimum value and find this minimum f. So you can clearly see in this problem that this is the function that has to be minimized. So we will take this as the function f. And what is the constraint? The constraint given to us is ax plus by plus cz equal to p. So we will first of all develop the function f as x square plus y square plus z square. And the constraint is taken as the function. We have taken it as phi. According to the terminology, you can take it as g. So we'll take all the terms on one side. We have ax plus by plus cz minus p. Now, the first equation, the working rule says, construct the equation f is equal to f plus lambda times g, right? So, when you construct it, you will get x square plus y square plus z square plus lambda times ax plus by plus cz minus p, right? Now, find out del f by del x. So that is constructed as 2x plus lambda a, you can clearly see from here, is equal to 0. So you can calculate x as minus lambda a by 2. Then calculate delta f by delta y. So that is 2y plus lambda b. So y comes out to be minus lambda b by 2. Similarly, calculate delta since we are having three variables here. So we calculate delta f by delta z. And from here, we get 2z plus lambda c is equal to 0. So we will get z is equal to minus lambda c by 2. Now, using these equations, we can substitute x, y, z in the given constraint. 
and we, when we put it in the given constraint, ax plus by plus cz equal to p, we can find out easily the value of lambda. So lambda turns out to be minus 2p upon a square plus b square plus c square. So we can finally substitute in x, y, z and from there we get the point x, y, z. So this is the point of minima. We don't have to check it. Automatically this will be a point of minima. And we can find out the minimum value of the function by substituting in the relation x squared plus y squared plus c squared. We can substitute x, y, z here. And the minimum value turns out to be p square upon a square plus b square plus c square. Right? So I hope you have understood this question, how to do it. Let's try one more problem. So the problem says, use the method of Lagrange's multipliers to find the volume of the largest rectangular parallelopipe that can be inscribed in ellipsoid x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared plus z squared by c squared is equal to 1. So we have to find out the volume of the largest rectangular parallelopipe. That means we have to maximize the volume, right? So that means we have to assume certain dimensions. So let us assume that 2x, 2y and 2z are the length, breadth and height of the rectangular parallel of pipe. So the volume parameter becomes 2x, 2y, 2z. So that is 8xyz. So we assume the function f to be 8xyz. And what is the given constraint? The given constraint is this. So we assume g to be x squared upon 2, sorry, x squared upon a squared plus y squared upon b squared plus z squared upon c squared minus 1. Construct the function f is equal to f plus lambda times b. So that comes out to be 8xyz plus lambda times x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared plus z squared by c squared minus 1. Now, from here, we'll calculate delta f by delta x and we'll put it equal to 0. We will calculate delta f by delta y and put it equal to 0. And similarly, we'll calculate delta f by delta z and we will put it equal to 0. When we put it equal to 0, what are the conditions that we will get? We will get 8yz plus lambda times 2x upon a square is equal to 0. 8xz plus lambda times 2y upon b square is equal to 0. And 8xy plus lambda times 2z plus b square is equal to 0. Right? So, now what is to be done? We can multiply equations 1, 2 and 3 respectively with x, y, z. And then when we add it, we will get this equation 24xyz plus 2 lambda x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared plus z squared by c squared is equal to 0. Now this term is 1, so from here we can find out easily the value of lambda. Lambda turns out to be minus 12xyz. So when we substitute back in equations 1, 2 and 3, we will be able to calculate the values of x, y, z. So x comes out to be a by root 3, y comes out to be b by root 3 and z comes out to be c by root 3. And finally, what is the volume of the rectangular parallel of pipe? We assumed it to be 8xyz, so we substitute here. So we get 8abc upon 3 root 3. Right? So this becomes the largest volume of the rectangular parallel pipe. So I hope you have understood the Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers. So based on these methods, Check your progress by doing these two questions and do let me know in the comment section whether you were able to solve it or not, right? So if you like the video, do hit the like button. Thank you so much for listening. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated videos. Believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed. Have a nice day.